The overall goal of this scalable technique is to mill carbon nanomaterials such as carbon nanotubes with sufficient precision to selectively machine an individual nanotube. This method can help reveal interstructural morphology of carbon nanotube forests and introduce complex 3D features into carbon nanotube microstructures. The main advantage of this technique is that it can be used to mill both individual carbon nanotubes or tens of cubic microns of material with less material redeposition than related techniques. Though this method can provide insight into carbon nanotube systems, it can also be applied to other carbon-based materials such as graphene, diamond, and biological cells. Visual demonstration of this method is critical because the carbon nanotube milling steps are quite different from conventional SEM-based imaging techniques. Prior to beginning the procedure, grow nanotube forests in thermally oxidized silicon wafers coated with alumina and iron. To begin sample preparation, secure a CNT forest sample on a standard 0.5 inch SEM stub using carbon tape. Ensure the sample is over the SEM stub edge. Alternatively, attach the sample to an electron beam lithography mount. For samples where the CNT cross section will be milled, mount the stub in a 45 degree stub holder. Then, vent the ESEM, open the SEM chamber, and secure the stub to the sample stage. Close the chamber and start evacuation of the ESEM.